What's going on everybody, Kwaku here, back with one more video for the week. Today, Microsoft dropped a new build of the dev channel of Windows 10 on us. This one is build 21318, and with it brings a lot of minor updates and features, and not really any features really, but a lot of minor little fixes and things like that. So in this very quick video, I'm gonna run you through exactly what I see that is kind of new on it. And here we are in the build. So like I said, this is uh, Windows 10 dev channel inside a preview build 21318. And like I said, in it is a lot of minor things. You're not gonna see too many big changes. Um, they addressed some things with the news and interest of panel right here. They addressed uh, some things with the keyboard, the touch keyboard as well. And there are some fixes with it as well. And then they addressed something related to the clipboard which i can't exactly show you but i can show you a screenshot for i talked about it in the last build that came out but again it's coming out to insiders uh slowly it's not coming out to everybody at once so we're going to start off with the touch keyboard uh one thing that you're going to notice on the touch keyboard if you didn't get that feature if you're on the dev channel is that in the previous build uh not everybody got the updates to the touch keyboard where if you have a 12 inch screen or larger you would get like the escape tab you know shift buttons and some extra buttons not everybody would get that now it's come out to everybody as well as the feature for the touch keyboard that i talked about where the settings the keyboard layout what is in menu structure now it's in more of a cascading menu structure so before they used to lay out all of these controls the default small traditional keyboard styles they used to just lay it out all right in front of you when you click this gear icon. Now it's come to everybody that now you can just hover over keyboard layout and change your layout just like that. It makes it look more mobile friendly or traditional, which shows you the numbers above and everything like that. That wasn't out to everybody. I didn't have it, but now it's here. Um, another thing that they said that they updated um, and they released for this build is the feature of basically having when you click on type characters and things like that so i'm going to actually type characters let's say i want to type in um freeze before uh and this is how it is right now for me they say that you should be able to only see five suggestions but for me i'm still seeing all 200,000 suggestions depending on what you type in for spelling and they say that you're supposed to only see five major um, things, similar to if you have an iPad or a tablet on Android even, that you only see a few suggestions instead of a bunch of su suggestions. This hasn't come to me clearly, or maybe I'm not getting it or there's something wrong, but this is something that I've noticed that I did not get. Now, getting out of the touch keyboard and all of that, let's go into the actual article. So here it is, Insider Preview Build 21318. Um, it says, plain a uh, paste plain text in clipboard history it says simply open up the clipboard with windows key v click the button next to any text based entry and you should now see a plate paste as plain text uh i don't have that feature but i will show you what they're talking about windows key v you can see i was hovering over batman beyond because that's what i was searching for earlier before making this video and if you press these three dots you're supposed to see it like this uh, I don't see it. It still only shows delete for me, so I haven't gotten that feature yet. But this is what it's supposed to look like when it releases to more people. Uh, and this is what it looks like currently to everyone else, including myself. So that's what that looks like. And it says here, um, it says that this feature is rolling out to a subset of insiders in the dev channel first to identify issues that impact performance and reliability. So I am not that subset, unfortunately. Uh, going down a little bit more. Uh, they're just telling you that Microsoft Garage projects, you know, they have minor indie projects inside Microsoft. You can take a look at Journal. I'll do a separate app review, taking a look at the Journal application. I don't have a pen, but I can still look at it probably with mouse and keyboard. Uh, going down more, though, uh, we got the changes and improvements. I'm not going to go through this whole list because there's a whole lot of them. I talked about the touch keyboard improvements on 12-inch larger screens. Uh, which is this screen. This is a 49-inch screen, but I'm only showing you guys half of the screen. Uh, you have some improved smoothness of motion while using the magnifier um, when you're transitioning between the keyboard and mouse. And you have, it says, insiders using X64 apps on ARM64, such as Surface Pro X, no longer need to download and install a separate preview version of the ARM64 C++ redistributable 
package so you don't need to do that anymore and it also makes it so that way um, another change that they updated is when you get a pop-up of say a new usb device such as well actually you won't even see it because it's not new when you get a pop-up for a new bluetooth device um normally it goes away too fast and so you can't really interact with it in time so they increase that time so that you can interact with it uh, easier without having to rush and figure it out so that's pretty good um, and then they got a bunch of fixes um, they said here one of the problems that happened with news and interest in the past was when you went to news and interest right here and say this Kanye West Kim Kardashian thing which is pretty crazy going on uh, you click that more options and when you would hit share normally if you wanted to share by the time you click the share button as soon as you click share button this whole thing would go away and you could never share it just was an issue now they fixed it so you can do all of that like you saw and it will let you do it um, so that was a bug and they fixed that issue and it says they fixed an issue where if you attempt to share news via email from the flyout that's what i said would dismiss the flyout without opening the mail so it doesn't do that anymore and it says we fixed an issue on the right side area of the actions was truncated so they fixed that some d minor design issue uh, one thing that I haven't been able to test yet um, because I haven't played any games yet on this computer today is there was an issue in the last build and it's been put on the feedback hub already. There was an issue in the last build where if you were to play a game from say the X, the, some games that were you download from like the Xbox app or the Microsoft store, uh, they did not, they did not run correctly. They wouldn't run if it wasn't installed on your primary drive so like me for example i was playing code vein which you guys just saw and i had to move it to my c drive which is my smallest hard drive um, because when i was on my m drive it wouldn't work it would crash immediately so some of those things were issues i'm not sure if they fixed that. i don't think they have yet but they fixed a whole lot of things here i'm not going to go through all of it just because it is a whole lot here and it'd be a super long video but yeah, so final thing I just see that stood out to me. It says insiders who installed the preview version of the Qualcomm Adreno graphics driver display on the Surface Pro X may experience reduced brightness. They're still trying to fix that. It says known issues. They're still trying to fix that. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions about this thing uh, or you want to talk about this build and if you have any concerns, let me know about those concerns too because I'm very curious if anyone else is having some issues with it. I haven't found any major issues so far, but I'm going to see if I can pull some more out over the course of the weekend so take care everybody stay safe out there and uh enjoy your friday